1977, even before 60 Minutes started, I went down to Cape Canaveral in Florida to the launch of a massive rocket. It was carrying Voyager 1 out to Saturn and Jupiter. It was meant to last for about five years. Well, that mission is still going 36 years later. Now it's on the edge of the solar system. 18 billion kilometers. Voyager 1, our intrepid interstellar explorer, has been venturing the space for almost five decades, and recently it made an astonishing discovery of 377 celestial objects lurking in the vastness of interstellar space. But here's the twist. Scientists are grappling with the mystery surrounding these objects. Are they real? Or could they be the result of data transmission glitches from Voyager 1 to NASA? Perhaps even more intriguing, could extraterrestrial forces be at play? Join us as we unravel the mystery of how Voyager 1 detected 377 unknown objects in space. Mother Earth is a remarkable planet with several mind-blowing features, but compared to the rest of the universe, it is just a mere speck. Philosophers have known this for several centuries, but they didn't have a chance to prove this statement until NASA scientists came along with a spectacular invention in the 70s. However, this invention might not have come into existence if not for the alignment of the stars, which, in the real sense, are the four largest planets of our solar system. The alignment of the four planets had largely been unnoticed until it got the attention of Gary Flandro, a PhD student at the California Institute of Technology. Flandro, who was working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, charted the orbital paths for the giant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. When doing this, he stumbled upon something amazing. He found out that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets would be strung like pearls on a celestial necklace in a long arc with the Earth. This discovery excited Flandro's superiors at NASA because he had been tasked with feening out the most efficient way to send a space probe to Jupiter and the other giant planets. Back to this rare event that had unfolded in the ease of NASA scientists, it meant that a space vehicle could get a speed boost from the gravitational pull of each giant planet it passed. It would be as if it's being tugged by an invisible cord that snapped at the last second, flinging the probe on its way. From Flandro's calculations, it was estimated that the repeated gravity assists from the planets will cut the flight time between the Earth and Neptune from 30 years to 12 years. To seize this opportunity, NASA launched two spacecraft in the 1970s, Voyager 1, and Voyager 2. Specifically, Voyager 1 was launched into space on September 15, 1977, 15 days after its twin counterpart. The space probe is a part of the Voyager space program tasked with the mission of exploring the solar system and interstellar space for our benefit. Voyager 1 has been in operation for almost five decades and has been communicating with the scientific community through the NASA Deep Space Network, and as of August 2023, the space probe was situated 24 billion kilometers away from the Earth. This makes it the most distant man-made object away from the Earth. Early on in its development, NASA scientists had decided that the spacecraft had to make a flyby over Jupiter, Saturn, and the latter's largest moon, Titan. It explored the two gas giants, studying their weather, magnetic fields, and rings, and thanks to Voyager 1, we were able to get detailed images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. It was Voyager 1 that gave us the first family portrait of the solar system as seen from outside. It also provided a famous image of the Earth that was soon nicknamed Pale Blue Dot. Interestingly enough, the Voyager craft's mission didn't stop at studying Jupiter and Saturn. The space probe went further to locate and study regions and boundaries of the outer heliosphere. It also extended its operation to include exploration of the interstellar medium. The spacecraft crossed the heliopause and entered into interstellar space on August 25, 2012. Voyager 1 made history by being the first spacecraft to achieve this feat. As the universe would have it, we got a confirmation that the Voyager was indeed in interstellar space two years later. Voyager's mission was expected to end many years ago, but NASA's engineering team seems to have performed their magic on the spacecraft. They have succeeded in extending the spacecraft's mission to 2025. By this period, it is expected that it would no longer have enough electric power to operate its scientific instruments. The team achieved this feat by testing the space probe's trajectory correction maneuver, TCM thrusters, in late 2017. This was the first time these thrusters had been fired since 1980. 
the decision to fire the thrusters succeeded in extending the mission's lifespan by two to three years. One would have expected that this spacecraft, which is located over 14.1 billion miles away from the Earth, would have begun to fail. But this is far from the case, as Voyager's computer systems continue to transmit data back to NASA scientists. NASA scientists have been able to sustain the operative capabilities of the Voyager craft through power management and the use of redundant computer subsystems. They have conserved the power of the spacecraft by switching off known essential systems, ensuring the longevity of the spacecraft. However, it is not just about maintaining the longevity of the equipment, but ensuring that it can also successfully process scientific data. It was either this, or they would lose the prized spacecraft to changing conditions. Over the years, the Voyager spacecraft has been self-powered using radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGS. These RTGs, also known as radioisotope power system, is a type of nuclear battery that makes use of a thermocouple. The RTGs are used to convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity through the Seebeck effect. These generators require no maintenance since they don't have any moving parts. However, their major drawback is the lower production of energy over the years, as due to the half-life of the radioactive material powering them. Although the dwindling power supply hasn't affected the spacecraft's mission output, NASA engineers decided to take the preemptive step of compensating for the loss. Thus, they had to switch off the heaters and other non-essential systems that don't affect the spacecraft's flying capabilities. However, it seems like it is not only the non-essential systems that will have to go in order to keep the craft flying and maintain effective data transmission. Scientists are considering switching off one instrument on the spacecraft as well. Coming back to the mystery at hand, Voyager 1 has captured the attention of the scientific community once again by detecting 377 unknown objects in space. This discovery has been a source of concern for the scientific community because we know next to nothing about these newly found objects. What makes it more puzzling is that the transmitted data was initially corrupted. It was only fixed after scientists employed the technique of redirecting telemetry data to a functioning computer. You can imagine the looks on the scientists when they kept receiving problematic interstellar data from space. When scientists at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory swung into action to uncover the cause of the funky data, they found out that it was coming from the Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS. The AACS is an onboard equipment that measures, reports, and changes the position of the vehicle in space. This system is equipped with an antenna pointed at the Earth that helps it send data home. Scientists found out that the AACS had switched to sending its telemetry data through an onboard computer that had become corrupted because it hadn't worked for years. NASA engineers were able to resolve this by instructing the AACS to start sending its data through the correct computer again. Now, NASA has resumed receiving uncorrupted data from Voyager 1. One of the possible causes of this anomaly is the extreme temperature in space. The cosmic environment can be quite harsh, and serve as an adversary to the operation of a flying spacecraft, such as the Voyager 1. Cosmic radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations are some of the environmental factors that could affect the electronic systems of the Voyager craft and derail its operation. For instance, cosmic radiation can penetrate the structures of spacecraft and alter the operation of the delicate electronic systems in Voyager 1. This radiation can cause electrical disturbances, distort data signals, and lead to memory errors and data corruption. Furthermore, Voyager 1 is exposed to the actions of micrometeoroids, dust particles, and fragments from asteroids and comets, which can seriously affect the operation of the spacecraft. The fact that the spacecraft moves at a high radial velocity of 17 km second means that when a dust particle strikes the craft, it is almost instantly vaporized and ionized. Thus, it produces a rapidly expanding cloud of plasma that causes a voltage pulse in the PWS electric antenna which can cause disruptive signals. Although it is yet to be confirmed, the interstellar dust particles could be why Voyager 1 was transmitting funky data to NASA. While all these suggestions might be the reason for the malfunctioning of Voyager's computer systems, it would be wrong to limit the root cause to just these occurrences. Some folks have proposed that the event may have been caused by the activities of extraterrestrials. 
The hypothesis is based on the premise that there exists an extraterrestrial civilization that is more advanced technologically than us. The notion postulates that these aliens have a better understanding of space exploration and that the Voyager might have just traveled to their doorstep. And if the Voyager had walked into their territory, it is only natural for these extraterrestrial beings to try to take over the craft, and this could have caused its strange behavior. However, if this event actually happened, it would be quite difficult to prove it, because our current technology is limited when it comes to exploring certain distances in interstellar space. Also, how do you find creatures who have probably stayed hidden for several millennia and don't want to be found? Hopefully, advancement in technology will help birth spacecraft that will not only travel greater distances, but also detect the territories of extraterrestrials, if they actually exist. Furthermore, we hope to uncover the mystery of the 377 objects that were uncovered by Voyager 1 in the near future. Let's keep our fingers crossed while NASA scientists crack this puzzle.